PD measurements. To place an order, you will need your eyeglass prescription and your pupillary distance, or PD measurement. Your PD measurement is the distance between the pupils of each eye. Your PD may be indicated in a variety of ways. You will often be given your PD as a single number, such as 64. Most adults have a PD between 56 and 66, and young children generally range between 44 and 55. On your prescription, if you have been given a single number such as 64, you use 64 as your PD for distance vision, bifocals, and progressive lenses. If you are ordering reading glasses, you would reduce this number by 4, which would then give you 60. To properly enter your PD, you would divide the number in half, so that 64 then becomes right OD32 and left OS32. And this is what you would enter on our site as your PD. For reading glasses, you would reduce this number by 4, which would then give you 60, and then divide in half again, giving you 30 and 30. You may also be given your PD measurements as a smaller set of numbers, such as 33 slash 31. The first number is the right eye, and the second number is the left eye. It may also be written as OD33 and OS31, in which case OD represents the right eye and OS represents the left eye. Once again, if you have been given your PD measurement for distance vision glasses, reduce each number by two for reading glasses only. When you have your eyes examined, remember to request your PD pupillary distance from the person who does your eye exam. The PD measurement is used to position the optical center of the lens to the center of the pupil of your eye, ensuring your best possible vision correction. I will now explain six different methods of getting your PD. Number one, the simplest method is to go to your eye doctor or optometrist for an eye exam. Ask your eye doctor, optometrist, or optician for your PD measurement along with your new prescription. The PD is often left off of the prescription, although it's usually recorded in your file. Having your PD empowers you to purchase eyeglasses from anywhere, not just with the place where you got your eye exam. It is your right to have your PD. In most cases, you paid for it with your prescription. Number two, go to a local optical store or optometrist's office and ask them to measure you. They will probably charge you a small fee for taking your measurement. Number three, using your current or an old pair of glasses, having a helper using a non-permanent marker stand in front of you and mark a dot in the center of each pupil on your lenses. Use an MM ruler to measure the distance between the dots in millimeters. This is your PD. Number four, have a person assist you by placing a simple MM ruler on your nose, underneath your eyes, so that the starting point of the ruler is zero exactly lined up in the center of your left or right pupil. Have the person assisting you close one eye, then without moving the ruler, have them move their head to the right and read the millimeter line corresponding to your other pupil. Repeat the process two or three times for accuracy. Number five. Measure yourself in front of a mirror with an MM ruler. Stand with your face about 20 centimeters or 8 inches from the mirror. Place the ruler against your nose underneath your eyes. Align it horizontally with the millimeter scale pointing up. And while looking over the top of the ruler, align the zero mark in the center of your left pupil. Read the millimeter measurement corresponding to the center of your right pupil. Repeat the procedure several times to make sure you have a consistent measurement. Note that most adults' PDs are between 56 and 66 millimeters. Most kids' PDs are between 44 and 55 millimeters. Number six, take a digital picture of yourself holding a ruler marked in millimeters flat against your eyebrows, just above your eyes. Ensure that the markings on the rulers can be read and simply email us the picture and we'll calculate your PD measurement for you.